Hi everyone, Paolo here. So welcome to just another dang how to channel. So this would be the last uh, episode on this series. So on this video, we're going to learn how to use um, Tesseract and Pillow for uh, image processing and text recognition. So Tesseract is an um, open source library uh, sponsored by Google. Um, it's used for reading text out of images. So we're going to install that and then we're going to use uh, another uh, python library called pillow so this is for manipulating or creating images so let's get started so let me open um, my xcode and this is where we left off so i'm just gonna go back to the interactive shell and for this tutorial we're gonna um, uh, put some Gaussian blur on this image using pillow and then we're gonna use Tesseract to read the text inside this image so let's install um, if I go to pip list you can see I only have there what I've been doing what I wanted to correct as well is because I've been using pip install from here I should have been using pip env so this should install pip pillow. This should allow it to unlock the uh, create the packages that's needed for this project. So you would see it would create a lock file, and on my pip file it would get updated with the packages that I installed. So I'll just clean up this pip file. But if I go to pip list. I go to pip list you would see that pillow is installed there so that's the proper way to do it ppnv install and then check using pip list if the package has been installed so I'm just gonna create a quick blur uh, image uh, script so this blur would basically be blurring that image so what we want to do is from here from pill we want to import image and image filter and simple is say how to we say image open and i give the name of the file png and then i say blur how to and then I say how to and I apply a filter and this would be the image filter and that would be creation blur now I'm gonna save this blur image save and I'm gonna just say how dash to dash blur png and let's open it up I run the script show save if I go back here and just say Python and then say how to what you uh, oh sorry now my flies blur image at pi um, got an error how to is not defined because how to it's the inside codes. Cool. Let's try it again. Boom. You would see that it's a little bit blur because if I have the original side by side here, it's clear. So it made this text a little bit blur. So let's try to use um, Tesseract if it could read this image. So the way to install Tesseract is it needs to be installed externally because it's a external library. So you could use Homebrew similar to what I did with the um, web driver for um, when we use Selenium. So from here, just say brew install Tesseract. And let's give some time. Go. 
So it's installed. Let me open and turn it off from here. And actually, I want to open another terminal, so let's just do it here. And this one, when I do this, should be fine. Okay, so the way to uh, read this file using Tesseract is you call Tesseract from the command line. So you say Tesseract and then the name of the file so how to blur png and then the output say text output just gonna pipe it to cat and then text output dot txt invalid resolution using 70 dp instead so the resolution of my image is too big. Um, let me see what this output did. So, but it still was able to read it. It says just another dang how to channel. So the zero became 10. So what we could do using pillow is you could enhance this image so the other way around, instead of blurring it, you could enhance it. Then you run Tesseract again, and then it would be able to um, uh, read that image. If still it cannot read the text on the image, then you could uh, train Tesseract by supplying it different uh, combinations of text. And then basically you're creating a font library for the tesseract model just saying this j or this t looks like this and blah 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 and so on and so on cool but enough of this um let's try with a real life scraper now so let's go to uh let's create a new file let's call it amazon scraper.py so this is from a book that i'm reading um it's from uh, web scraping with Python and this is the example uh, provided on that book so it's going to amazon.com from amazon.com it's clicking on this uh, book, uh, link for the book for the image and when you click on the right arrow you could see there's text in here it's gonna this text is actually an image and so is this one so it's like screenshot uh, uh, images of the book and then there's parts of the book so using uh, tesseract we'll be able to grab the pages of this book and uh, output them as text so let's go back to the code so i'm just gonna copy and paste most of the items here so first we're importing a time so we could do a time sleep to wait for the page load and then be able to access it so we're using the ULS request to retrieve the URL this is the new uh, module that we're using so sub process allows us to call tesseract from inside the Python script so Similar to what we did on Selenium, I'll have the driver, web driver, Chrome, then driver get, and I'm targeting that URL. And from there, I'm saying timer sleep. And I say, um, put this driver find element by ID. So if you go back here, this would be the element by ID. So this should have an element by ID somewhere. Class ID image block front, image canvas. Image canvas. That's probably one of this section. Image block container. 
Uh, can't see it. Image block ID block image canvas. There you go. Sorry, I'm blind. So that's the canvas that's trying to click there. So click on that, and then we're going to create a set of images. So I'm just going to copy this section, paste it here. So I'm saying sleep again for 10 seconds, make sure the page is loaded. And then we're saying print the elements on the page. So right header page turner, get attribute the style. Just to make sure that we're on the page. Now we're doing a while condition next. So in this while condition, we're saying find all the elements by ID where site reader page turn then get style. So the while in the pointer, uh, driver find element site reader right pane page turner click. So that will be the that will be this uh, button right here. So it's clicking there. You sleep. Wait for the page to load. Um, pages we're saying find element uh, by x path this x path would be the image like this image and this image and then for each page that we saw we're setting we're grabbing the source and putting it on an image and putting that image on the list and then we say quit and finally we open tesseract and process those image so from here we say from the image list, loop over them, URL retrieve, URL retrieve would get us the source of that image, save it as a page uh, .jpg. So this is not uh, dynamic, it's just gonna overwrite the same file. And then we're opening a sub process, p open, calling the tesseract, calling the file, calling the output, and then basic stand standard out and standard error. Then we say wait. And then we open the page text so we could read it and it would uh, print f read would stream it here on this page so to do that let's run the script so python and then say amazon scraper and we didn't get anything we didn't get anything, so let me try again. So because I'm on the bash there, yeah. So I need to be inside the virtual environment. So Python, Amazon scraper pi. Boom, there you go. I'm just gonna open the browser. I'm go to there. Wait a few seconds. Click. And if we go back to here, you could say that it's we're printing the uh, find element by either Turner, so we know that it found it. And we we'll go back to where's oh, Selenium web driver. It's clicking all the pages. So we're going to all the pages, collecting the source for this page, and then later we're going to parse it using Tesseract. Boom. So this bit is now running. So as you can see, it's printing out the text for each page. So the Tesseract reader is kind of poor when there's background in, uh, on the image, so it can't read it properly. But you could train that model as I mentioned earlier. I'll ju just drop a link on the description below for more details on how to train uh, the Tesseract model. And as you can see, it's parsing those images and it's very readable. Cool, so that's it for this tutorial. So on this tutorial, we learn how to use Pillow to manipulate images so you can enhance images, distort images. And then we learn how to use Tesseract. 
and another use case for test rack would be on some captcha so you could read images on captcha but you need to really train the model to be able to identify those because you know the captcha they have distorted images distorted letters and also test rack will be not be able to handle it off the off straight off the bat so you need to train it and that's it so hope you like this tutorial um if you have some suggestions for other tutorials that i would do please uh hit the comments below uh, cheers bye for now please subscribe to my youtube channel